Hello there YouTube. I'm just bored today. Figured some of you may be interested in what these old radios look like inside. I'm going to do this in Telemacro. Zoom don't work. I mentioned that in the video I didn't like my Telemacro, but zooming when you're filming don't work on this. Telemacro is what I'm in right now. You have building SWR meter, it's hard to see that. Calibrate and SWR, AM lower of sideband. Well, there's a calibrate for your SWR meter, volume RF, your slide O tune, PACB noise flanker. This is what these old ones look like inside. Back behind the channel selector here, use a pencil, still lead conductive graphite. These are crystals. They plug in with two little legs. This way radios are made before they went to an IC chip. And then people figured out how to modify them for frequencies. Back then you changed out crystals. You have a transmit crystal and receive crystal. And like say this is a transmit, receive, you'll have one that mixes. This makes the frequency. And what you do is you use these over. I'm thinking here people. This has been a lot of years. But it's too complicated to go into. You've got your transmit and receive. And then you have one here. And you'll have two more pair of these. So this makes one channel with this. You'll find two more receiving transmit next channel, so on and so on and so on. So you have four pairs of these. You'll mix one of these to make the channel. So you'll have four of these that are always the same. You just mix one of these. People get confused. They start here playing with this stuff. Don't play with this stuff. This is lineup crystals. You've got to have perfectly good equipment to do that with. Then you go back here and things, which I really can't explain you what they are. That was actually a cut down on TV interference. Yeah, right. Big old speaker in the side. Now, most TVs, you got to flip them over on their back with the speakers on the bottom to get to the guts. With this, you pull the top lid off. Made it nice for tinkering. Big old capacitor back there. Nobody knows what them are. Crystal filter, which filters everything. This is your modern TV, they called it the clarifier. This is called, technically, a variable air capacitor. But, even though it's a capacitor, it also changes inductance, too. This is what they call the choke. You would see out there in them companies, they'd sell a little choke to expand your radio. I got some crappy old hot glue just to hold this and isolate this. But when you turn this, See that? You're changing the how much that's in there. Well, by adding this choke, and it makes this more sensitive. So instead of turning this all the way around, you go off the channel and you come back on, you can get almost three different frequencies. This will get three frequencies by that choke that's in there. And you can just grab them out of the junk pile. There is testers for them. But that's the big giant one they put in there. And I know that's why they put the big one, because that's why it can go. It can get those channels that were skipped in CBs, plus, like I said, drop down 5 KCs. Say you was on channel 40, 27405, you can drop down 27400. Well, if you're lucky, you can actually go down to channel 39 without changing the channel selector. 10 KCs. I know it's kind of technical for people. I wish people could see this better. Down in here... 70s Chrysler products. There was a blue plastic cover went over the bulbs. Even if you rip the ashtray out of this probably came out maybe by the 70s Dodge. You can rip the ashtray out in the junkyard. Look up in there and find that blue covered bulb. Take the whole assembly. But truck stops have little booties that go over bulbs. This sets down under here. I have actually cut meters out like in here on TV old radios to get that cover to go in there a little further. I've actually hot knife because I want that nice pretty blue everywhere. This used to change the red when it transmits, which the color is coming off the bulb. Very nice at night. There's also ways to dim these bulbs too, which I never spent the time to do. But, go back here. Here's my homemade dummy load. That's a bayonet bulb, but you gotta have the right number. Hello. Howdy. Hello. Sideband's not a dead carrot like I am. It don't just keep like that. Then brightly, it doesn't throw wattage till you throw your voice out, which I might as well show you. If you go to AM, 
You got a dead key. You got a carrier. Audio. When somebody plays with radio, you want forward modulation. That doesn't mean to have this key and flicker. Anybody can crank a radio up to where that's brighter and more wattage. Well, that's junk. Okay, I'm not a know-it-all, but it's junk. Ask the people that are smart with this stuff. You should have wattage going forward. Audio. This radio will throw out about 8 watts. You put this on a cheapy modern TV, that bulb won't be that bright. You can probably hear the rain just beating down out there. We're in a severe thunderstorm morning. Uh, where I live, if you go southwest of Omaha right now, there is a big red cell. We're just in the heavy rain. Stay on the subject. Like your speaker jacks and stuff. Uh, down there, that's your point box. Your relay. I know the speaker here to snap in it, but... See that in there? I know it's out of focus. See where them points are moving? Those will fry. You start messing up stuff on radios, you fry that. Oh, geez. I've tried replacing them once in an old radio. Some of them plugged in, but a soldering while the board, you'll actually see that. See where it swings over? I know it's out of focus. That's a relay. So the same thing in your car. You got a big relay, so you use a little switch. Say you got fog lights. Use a little switch, a little wire. It just makes the relay throw the bigger juice. It's a little switch making it bigger. There's a little electromagnet in there. You should never do that real fast like that. So no better do that. These things are called cans. They're going to stick a screwdriver in them. Don't be sticking screwdrivers and stuff. You don't know what you're doing. You screw it up. You have received ones and ones for transmit. This radio was lined to work up above 40, so it'll never work down there again. I would never attempt to convert it back because I have plenty of other radios. Plus, you can have fun up there. But This is what it looked like inside one of these. This would be the same board almost that would be in a base station. Sometimes you buy a base station, you just got the same board with a power supply built in. Use the pencil as a reference. Size of pencil, razor. Reference. Should do that if you don't have a ruler. But I'm sure everybody's bored that. But newer ones are made like a knob. You look at a regular knob, like say you got way down in here. That's a double knob. That's what most clarifiers are now. This was the old school. They actually made a thing called a VFO back in the crystal radio days that plugged in the radio. You'd just go all over. It was just a big box. It just like took this bigger, so it would just Whatever, I don't know exactly how they use, use them, but I know when you hook them up, you got all kinds of channels. That changes your frequency, along with this. But those are called, I always call them crystal terms. People messed with that stuff back then, threw radios all out of whack. Screwdrivers, you wear radios and somebody stuck their fingers in it. I've learned. And another thing about power supplies, people, unless you trust them, this was fixed. The guts this was fixed by a TV repairman. I burned up a $350 radio just like this with no guarantee. Once they're converted, there's no guarantee. I burned one of these up because of this power supply. It was a piece of junk. I bought it from a guy that was supposed to be in the box out of some CV shop. Yeah, and I also years ago burned up a Cobra 148 GTL. Had it repaired. It fried right when I brought it home. Use a car battery. Get like a marine battery and don't charge it while you're using it. Get one of those battery tenders or something that charges at a slow rate and use your mobile stuff on a battery. You don't have to have the battery in the house. Run the wires through whatever way. Put it inside a cooler outside your house. I used to put a battery in a cooler in the wintertime. Insulate it with insulation packed around it, fiberglass. Lasted me forever. A quality car battery. I charge it with a trickle charger. One amp little dinky charger. Hello. You see that amp meter move. I never did finish this. I was going to put a voltmeter in there. If I go to side man. Hello. Audio. If I had a power mic in there, I'd draw a little more there. But Enough of this. It's probably too long. It's been hell trying to upload videos. Let anybody know. I was using Internet Explorer. I feel stupid. I'm not a computer person. I was using Internet Explorer. I'm using Firefox now. Whatever version. It ain't the 4. Mine's got up to the whatever, I don't know, someone told me 1011. I'm using a different way, uh, instead of just Internet Explorer on my computer, to upload my videos. Uh, five minute video still takes about 25, 30 minutes though. I stopped one the other night, and after two hours I gave up yesterday afternoon.
but that's what it looks like in these old antiques. I hope this ain't too long. So, thanks for watching.